Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. We are here today. I am in my budget book, my plum paper eight and a half by 11 and um, monthly planner and doing my just kind of a setup of what my November pages look like in this book if that interests you. So I'm actually, I don't think I'm doing any decoration this month. I'm just, I'm feeling functional, I'm feeling tired, I'm doing the things that need to get done and nothing extra and fun. So in the first page after the dashboard page, I use it as a um, my credit card tracker. So I do a whole lot of purchases on my credit card and then I pay it back with cash envelopes. And so it is to not confuse myself of anything that comes out of my bank account versus my credit card. I write the amount of the transaction, what it is as a reminder to me, and then a, a check mark when I've sent it and a check mark or you know when I've scheduled the payment and a check mark for when it has posted to the card. So I know that the current card balance um, needn't reflect the different things. So then I have two columns and I refer to that for the whole month. So that is how I do my credit card stuff. This is my monthly spread. I actually don't do a lot with my monthly spread and I keep playing around with different things. For the month of October, I did a little bit of tracking my cash spending on here because I don't really track my cash only spending anywhere. Um, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Does that help at all with shadows? That probably makes it worse. Um, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but I do have some things on here like Audible, which I actually canceled that, so that doesn't matter. I have my paydays on here, and I have a like a scheduled like a beauty purchase that day, so I just put pertinent financial things on there. But I don't put dates that all my bills are due. Um, I typically pay all of my bills like on payday. I know people really love auto draft um, payments and I don't so much. So if there's anything that needs paid before the 17th, I want to pay it on the 3rd because I want it paid and out of my account. I don't want to let it, you know, wait till it comes out. I want to take care of it that day so that it's done and I'm not waiting on it to clear. Um, so that's currently what I have there. Um, for the previous month, this was my sinking fund tracking page. I haven't decided yet if that's what I'm going to do with this page or not. So that's not set up, but that is what um, I did the last month. And I just got done with that update for that video. Um, and then it goes into, I print off these that I, you know, make myself. Um, like the boxes and stuff, the layout, how I want it. I add some washi tape to hopefully strengthen the pages and then I disc punch it and add it into the book. Um, so that's my paycheck budget, which I also just today did the video for that. And then on the, the back of that page, it has my cash breakdown, my um, tracker here of my for, so for sinking funds. If I'm adding, I put the category. So if I'm putting money in for vehicle insurance, vehicle registration, kids, vehicle repairs, whatever it is, plus or minus, and then the amount, because sometimes I'm pulling money back out to cover those bills, and then I gave myself here a little um, cash denomination, mainly for, for me to reference on here as I do the math. And then I actually purchased the downloadable. I really wanted to get her, um, these are from Veda at the Simple Budget. I really wanted to do the, um, like the sticky notes, but I was too impatient. By the time I decided to do it, I wanted it right now. I didn't want, for it to, want to wait for it to ship. So I do have her um, teller slip. Um, here, which is fantastic. The first time I usually just kind of make a messy sticky note and I actually did get a comment from my banker or the person who, who did my cash, who is not the person who normally does it, who has commented before on my organizational skills just for like knowing all of <laughs> the cash that I want. But I actually got a compliment on this, um, when I went to the bank last time. So that's what I use that for. Um, and then in between, so this will be, so this is the first page following the first budget breakdown. This is going to be my spending tracker. So this is actually when I come in and show, show you guys the amount of money, um, um, that I've spent that, um, needs for, uh, oh my goodness, this is where I come in and I'm going to write down all of the purchases that I make. Um, on a card that need to get paid back from my envelope. So when I do the check-in, so I go through and I see what I spent and I pull the money out of the appropriate envelope and then um, put it back in the bank. This is where I do that is on that page. 
Um, the reason that I keep them separate from, so then these next two, this spread, is this is essentially where I keep track of what's in my bank account. And the reason, so originally I was going through just like this spread of everything. Let's see if I can find an example of it in here for my check-in, but it was confusing. I mean, I literally put everything from, you know, all the bills that we pay, and then anytime I put cash back in, and, and, and then, you know, I put the cash in, and then I sent so much of it out to go back on the credit card, and all of that stuff just wasn't necessary. Um, so that's why I changed it from, so this is the spending tracker that shows what I purchased, what it was for, and that I've paid it back versus this is what the actual transaction log, like if I were keeping track of what's in my bank account would go for money going in to coming back out and all of those things. So that makes it just a little bit less confusing, at least to me. So I do, um, here is where I will track my spending for the purposes of paying back my card and unstuffing the envelopes. And then this page, you probably won't see it all because it will have my, just all of the transactions that go in and out of my bank account. That's how I will do that. And then this, I think, was going to be a like a, a, a closeout for each, pay, you know, the November 3rd paycheck. And then we kind of go into the same thing. This is the um, budget breakdown for the 17th paycheck and all of the same pages. Um, but I haven't really been closing them out um, as far as like this. I have been closing my budgets out as in I come back in here and I go through and do my actuals and I make sure that it matches, you know, at the end that all my dollars are most of them because I put money in and leave extra change in places matches, you know, what I say that I have in my transaction log. So I do that, but I haven't actually um, done a closeout like, oh my, everything is so messy. I don't think I've done one since October or um, August where I actually go back in and I say, okay, I spent $48, uh, you know, using like the highlighter method of what I spent on each and every category. Um, I haven't done one of those and I can't decide if I need to, like I want to kind of for the sake of that's why I have this set up, but I, I don't know that that information is vital to, to me and what I'm tracking and what I'm trying to work on as I'm learning and growing as a financially responsible person. Um, but I did want to come in and work on some November goals. Um, my October goals. Well, we can just touch base on those really quickly. Um, I funded Halloween. I did a, I bulked home. So I started a savings challenge for softener salt and that will probably go in my home envelope. So I did that, actually completed it today. I started the savings challenge for the emergency fund um, the 52 week savings challenge, as well as, um, uh, the sushi roll challenge. And then I did start the hundred envelope challenge. So I did three, uh, finished project expenses. That's not done yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the plumber to come and finish his work. And I just, I can't do really anything about that right now. At this point, the timeline is kind of, um, up to the other people. So I just keep putting some money away with each, with each paycheck. I will pay that last, that bill and the, the electrician's work is done, and now that it's November 1st, I'm expecting the bill very, very soon. Um, but we'll just see. I'll get those two bills. So hopefully I will actually be able to finish the project in November. And then... Um, that's goal number one. Goal number two is going to be our to cash flow the water park trip which I've talked a little bit about I've never cash flowed I don't think I've ever cash flowed a hotel stay as in like had the cash in hand ahead of time I have like I'll put it on a credit card and I'll figure it out in the four weeks following the trip so that I won't pay interest but I'll be screwing and cutting after we go in order to cover it um, and this time I, I will actually have the cash in hand at least two weeks before we go, thanks to um, planning ahead. So that as long as all goes according to plan anyway, um, and no major emergencies come up in between that. So cash flowing the water park trip. What else was I thinking that I wanted to financially wanted to work on or wanted to do? 
I want to create um, a debt plan. So I had said that I wanted to really focus on our last uh, debt, which is our HELOC. And then we willy nilly decided to do this project kind of, um, not kind of, very uh, spontaneously. So now that that's about done, I, I would hoping I'll be able to finish that and then make a plan of exactly when I can start funding the extra money. Um, I do I did start a debt binder with a few um, haul, um, like seasonal scratch offs. Um, so that whole binder of savings challenges is going to go towards a debt payment every time that gets done or every month or however we decide to do that. So I'm hoping this month to create what that debt plan looks like going forward. Um, and I would also so this is financial. I would really like to start. Christmas shopping. Christmas is pretty chill here, um, and it's it's not um, super extravagant. I look at um, actually, I want to start and finish. I want to be done. I try to uh, finish Black Friday or finish Christmas shopping by Black Friday or on Black Friday or whatever. Um, you know, our Christmas budget is like is six hundred dollars, and that's for everybody that we buy for, um, and that's a pretty slim or it feels pretty slim compared to what I know a lot of folks are doing um, for their Christmas and, and what their um, Christmas thinking fund looks like, which is totally fine. Um, but I do want to figure out that I'm cutting down again this year who we buy for, for um, a couple reasons. I'm not feeling super into obligatory things right now. So um, I did always get my kids godparents something. Um, so that was two gifts per kid, you know, of, of sentimental value. And and not that I don't, I love my kids as godparents. Um, but the ones that are, aren't really <laughs> allowed, uh, not re not allowed, that's not the word I meant to say, not really involved in our life anymore. I'm not going to keep coming up with cute sentimental things and spending money when they're just not that involved anymore. Like things change and people grow and move and, and do different things at different stages in their life. But I'm really, I'm um, just kind of done with the buying gifts to buy gifts. And then... Um, my kids get so many gifts from my parents and my in-laws and then my brother and my husband's brother and everyone else that buys for them that I don't feel like we need to get them a lot. Um, but I would like to like, I don't like a bunch of like little junk. I would like to get them like a big gift, get each of them, you know, a hundred dollar, you know, a hundred dollar budget and get them each something like one big ish fun thing instead of a bunch of little piddly crap that's going to end up thrown thrown away or, or whatever the situation. So, um, I have to figure out that it's not the, it's not the Christmas shopping that's difficult. It's figuring out what I'm getting for everybody. So, um, and then like I usually do for like my mom and my in-laws and my brother-in-law, I usually get like a, like a personalized calendar from Shutterfly or something like that with like pictures of my kids throughout the year for them to use the following year. So, you know, things like that. I just, I like uh, fun, sentimental things that mean something to me, like from my kids, because both my in-laws and my parents have um, everything that they want, really, in all actuality. Uh, they go buy the things that they want. So um, I like to provide some of that stuff, which saves us money um, on on that kind of stuff, too. But anyway, Christmas shopping, debt plan, cash flow in our water park trip, and finishing uh, the project and funding that. Those are my goals for the month of November. And then I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do stickers in here or how I'm going to set all of these up. But you'll see them definitely when I when I come in here. But I just wanted to show you what I had set up and how it was looking so far. Um, just to kind of show you what I got. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Everything should be linked. The plum paper planner, the um, the ring, the discs. I'm pretty sure that everything I use is adequately referenced below. And if it's not, feel free to ask about it, but I'm pretty sure I have it all in there. So until next time, guys, bye.